in the ghettos of New. <laughs> I was born and raised in the ghettos and the slums of upstate New York's most infamous war zone, Newburgh, New York. But upon my teenage years, my family came upon some money. And one of the first things they did, thankfully, was they relocated my education. <laughs> now, I wouldn't be Big Bad Marathon if I weren't big. And I certainly wouldn't be big if it weren't for an excessive intake of food. And I certainly wouldn't be able to eat a lot of food if it weren't for the microwave. Before I had a hot pot, I had to cook my ramen noodles in this microwave. Yeah, damn. It wasn't like that when I started cooking. Another man's treasure. Finishes. So when oh, you we didn't do the second one yet. Damn it, J. Oh, that's what you look like, J. Cole. I was born in the ghettos and the slums of upstate New York's war zone. Newburgh, New York. But upon my adolescent years, my parents were fortunate to come up upon some money. And one of the first things they did was they relocated my education to an area miles away from where I was from, Pennsylvania. And today, I'm going to show you how this school played it. Another man's treasure. When I think of Indian Paragon, I think of somebody fearless. Oh wow! Oh okay. Why yeah. You? So you saying how did I meet Jay? Oh man. Um. See if I can remember. Okay. So you know you in high school. You know what I mean. It was my first time seeing white woman. First time touching them. Y'all don't mean to sound like a pervert, but I never really came in contact. I saw him on TV. Like you know, Full House had a couple white woman friends. You know what I mean. And I always said, you know, where am I gonna find one? And I found one. So we took a boat. And we was out on the little lake over there. And um, you know I. I uh, was catching fish. I was trying to, you know, get a kiss or something like that, but, you know, my game wasn't right at the time. And I turn around to, I caught one, so I turn around to reel it in, turn back around, and Jake is on my boat making out with my girlfriend. Okay. And I said, <laughs> I said, I said, wow. You know, I wasn't even mad, because she looked like she was enjoying herself. So I was like, okay, you know what I mean? Cool. So we, I, I, I parked the boat on the shore. And then I said, hey, man, what's your name? He was like, my name is Jacob. And ever since then, we connected because you go Attention, guys, if you are interested in signing up for the mission trip, the meeting is taking place right now in the library. Please hurry. Another man's treasure. I was born in upstate New York's most infamous war zone, Newburgh, New York. But upon my teenage years, my family came upon some money. And the first thing they did was they relocated my education from out of the inner city to suburban, peaceful Pennsylvania. And today, I'm going to tell you what role that school, that education, and those friends made in... That doesn't make sense. I had it, but I just... I was like, I was, I was about to screw up. Yo, if you don't get your fat ass up and... Start right, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's your brother man's pleasure to bring you another man's treasure Much better than the competitors who were never as clever or measured up to me They want none with me, I'm so sure they tell scissors not to run with me Shout out to my brothers B, that's the double T's